Good afternoon. It is 4 p.m. here in South Korea. I am Ari Rang News, AI anchor, Ari. U.S. Federal Reserve officials kept rates unchanged for the fifth consecutive time on Wednesday. With this latest move, the benchmark interest rates in the U.S. continued to stand in the range of 5.25% to 5.5%, and the key interest rate gap between South Korea and the U.S. remains at 2 percentage points after the Bank of Korea also froze its rates in February. On Wednesday, the UN Security Council Sanctions Committee on North Korea released its biannual report, which not only assessed tensions on the Korean Peninsula to have heightened but that North Korea has obtained half of its total foreign currency income through cyber theft. The report also said such funds were obtained to cover 40 percent of the resources needed for developing weapons of mass destruction. The panel of UN experts pointed out that continuous cyber attacks targeting the virtual asset industry are also a means of generating revenue by avoiding UNSC sanctions. The report stated that it is currently investigating 17 cases of virtual currency theft from last year, in which North Korea was suspected to have been involved. The total amount stolen through such means amounts to 750 million US dollars. With South Korea rapidly aging nation, President Yoon suk yeol emphasized the government's role in taking care of senior citizens through public housing and medical support. This came as on Thursday, as President Yoon hosted a policy discussion with citizens on the topic in Wonder City in Gangwon-do province. Specifically, Yoon said, pledged to supply 3,000 public homes annually for financially hard-up elderly people. Silver State, a senior living project which includes comprehensive services, was also announced. As for medical support, he pledged to expand at-home medical care, raising the number of long-term home visit centers to 250 nationwide. In addition, he said, more local senior centers will offer healthy meals and even provide delivery services. The Montenegrin Court of Appeals finalized on Wednesday the extradition of the disgraced co-founder of cryptocurrency company Terraform Labs, Hukon, to his home country, South Korea. The court upheld a decision by the country's high court on March 6 to hand over Gwon to South Korea rather than to the United States. The Montenegrin Ministry of Justice will now set the exact date for his extradition. According to Bloomberg, that could take place as early as this weekend when his prison sentence in Montenegro for using forged documents comes to an end. Kwon faces prosecution for several criminal charges in South Korea and the U.S. The Los Angeles Dodgers beat the San Diego Padres by five runs to two in Seoul on Wednesday in the Major League Baseball regular season game opener. Japanese superstar player Shohei Otani made his debut and helped the Dodgers to a comeback win over the Padres. The match was South Korea's first time ever to host an MLB regular season game. With nearly 16,000 people in attendance, the Dodgers and Padres will play their second match in Seoul on Thursday evening. That is all for today. Thanks for watching.